guest right here, my uncle, and we are gonna do a video together. It's it's this is my first guest guy on YouTube. Hi Peter, what's up? Hey Owen. Hey, hey. <laughs> he's wearing glasses right now. He he's he thinks he's the Terminator. Yeah, no, no. I am the Terminator. Okay. I'll be back. So we're gonna do our top five favorite comedy movies because I did my top five, ten favorite movies of all time, but. And I decided, why do I do my favorite comedies? Because vacation's coming out, and we just... That's right. Holiday so, time, kids. Holiday time. Holiday time. Not really. Okay, all, right, all right, so before we start on the top five, P yep. and I have some honorable mentions. So my honorable mention yep. starts off with Zoolander with Ben Stiller. I reckon it's like a really fun comedy movie, and I can't wait to see the sequel. Right. Uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Yep. Anger yep. Man with Will Ferrell. <clears throat> Naked Gun, and yep. this is the end. That's my honorable mentions. Now, yeah. Peter, what are your honorable mentions? See, I'm mentions? going way back. I'm talking about I'm going way, 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 way back. <laughs> Long time ago. Way before you were born, Owen. Way before you were born. Okay. I'm talking about The Great Race. That was a classic. For all you people out there, I think it was Tony Curtis. I've it was seen Jack it. Lemmon. Uh, there was Natalie Wood. And, I mean, it was all about these guys having a race around around Europe, you know, sort of thing. Not around Footscray and St. Albans, but around Europe. And, I mean, they had to race at a certain time and catch up and... All these funny things happen, they grouse cars and done up cars and all the stuff. None of this like drifting around the round the back going round around around circles. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just race, a straight all right. race. What's your next order? Okay, message? the next one, what's that? Um oh, Dumb and Dumber. That was yes, pretty good. Dumb and that Dumber. Right. Jim Carrey and Jeff good. Daniels. That's right. I didn't like the sequel. Ah, uh, sequels was <laughs> Why not? probably You know the, the whole it was? When he put his uh, what, the tongue on the pole and it got stuck? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah with that. And on the bike. Put Spoiler on the... alert, if you haven't seen Dumb and Dumber. Oh, sorry, sorry about that. Some parts, some parts will be spoiled, so probably watch another video. If you've seen this news, you can watch this video. That's right, that's right. And even on the scooter, but they were frozen, you know. I'll put, like, a warning, point. like, thing at the start of the video, like, spoilers. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, next honorable mention. Okay. Ah, another classic. A good one. And all you people out there should know it. Ferris Bueller's, Bueller's Day, Day Off. Off. Yes, Ferris. I love that movie. Good day. So if your kids want to take a day off, if you watch don't stop, film. if you don't stop and mess I mean, around, no, don't do it. But yeah. Sorry, what was that? If you don't mess around, you're going to miss it. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's very exactly, really exactly. like Ferris. I actually want to be like Ferris. So Bueller. all you parents out there, if you got like a hot, really hot Ferrari sitting in the garage doing nothing, don't show the kids this film. Yeah, never. Whatever you do, okay. Uh, don't, you like uh, a, don't let your kids have it because they'll probably right. friends and be like, no, we're going to ruin your dad's car and that's do right, this. That's right. I love that Ferrari. Mom and that Ferrari. Really upset. Anyway. Um, Okay. Yeah, that's a good film. Uh, and last honorable one. mention. What's that? Rockabye <laughs> Baby. Oh, Rockabye Baby. With Jerry, Jerry Lewis. Lewis. If another you, good classic. You Very have classic. to see that yes. movie. If you haven't seen it, you where have you been? That's right. Okay. Jerry Lewis is one of my favorite comedians. <laughs> that's right. Yeah, Jerry Lewis is. I mean, he's been. He's Sammy. still kicking. He's still around, and he's still going really, really strong. I can strong. do his impression. I mean, Sammy. he was good. Yeah. Sammy. Right. <laughs> my baby was a good, good, good film. It's and he's got a whole bunch of good films. Original, Nutty Professor. Not the copy of a Mandy Murphy. Not that Eddie Murphy isn't good. He's, he's a laugh. And spoiler alert, it's going to be on this right. list. And spoiler alert, it's going right. to be on this okay. list. All right, guys. Now, let's start with number five on our list. Coming in number five, I it's it's a movie that just, like, kill, like, a movie that's just, like, very creative, like, plot. And that is Ted. Ted is, like, one of the funniest... It's really creative. It's Ron Cray's a family guy with Mark Webber and Zach McFarlane who voices Peter and Family Guy. He voices as a teddy bear that mm. curses and smokes stuff and uses weed and just it's a very creative story. I never seen a film where Teddy Bear curses a lot. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna actually see if I can find one of those Ted's, you know, but Yeah. I went everywhere into what eleven and Mark could everywhere, man, I got down couldn't find nothing. Kmart might have it, but we've got to see how we go. Yeah, I love Ted. It's one of my like, old time favorite, second mm -hmm. my following mm -hmm. movies. And Million Ways to Die in West, don't watch that. It's like a real worst comedy. What's that? Oh, that's like, it's a, cat, a western movie with him and Lee Nissen. It's like, don't watch it. Don't watch it. All right, what's your number five, Peter? Um, I feel like Steve Wonder. Uh, number five is a real oldie. It's called uh, Court Jester. Danny yes, Kay. the Court Jester. Funny Danny movie. Kay, Court Jester. Another oldie, but a goodie. Man, I mean, you might not have it on Foxtel. It won't be on TV. Go to, what, JB Hi-Fi, get it on DVD. It's a good film. It's an old film about doing the, you know, uh, nights and courts and stuff like that. But it's a laugh. Danny Kay had a lot of good films. He also had a bunch of films called um, Hans Christian Andersen, which was a good bunch of films into one. That was an excellent film. But um, yeah, that's another good one. All right. So now let's go to our number four. Coming in number four, it's in Peter's honorable mentions, I reckon. And that is Dumb and Dumber again. I no, 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 no. 
No. Oh, that's, oh, right, no, that's, that's mine. Right. That's, that's right. mine. That's right. Yeah, that's Dumb right. and Dumber is like one of my favorite Jim Carrey yeah, films. Yeah, yeah. We, we're ready to explain it. Like, I'll just explain a lot of parts. I like the part spoiler alert. It's when um the policeman came and he has to and he drank <laughs> Lloyd's pee. <laughs> Ooh, whoa. Lloyd's pee because he has to pee in all the bottles because he was busting. Mm. And like you see at the I back, you see at the back, it. you see at the back, back. I have the I have the dumb dumb car. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. Oh, it's from uh, the movies. It's with a bottle. It's really cool. And yeah, that's why Dumb and Dumber is my number five. Jeff Daniels stole the show. All right, what's your number four, Peter? Okay, this is a good one. Eddie Murphy. Yep. Coming to America. Yes, good that film. movie's funny. Funny yes. film. Very funny. Yeah, funny film. Good hairdresser. You know. If yes. you, any of your hairdressers out there want to know uh, quick cuts and stuff like that, watch the film. It's really good. It's a laugh. It's a killer. He um, he does about four or five acts or different people in it. He stars in it. And there's another guy. Uh, what's that other actor that's in it too? He's one of his good mates. Um, I think. Oh, I forgot the name. Guys. Anyway, just get the DVD. It's worth watching. It's worth watching. Eddie Murphy coming to America. A right. laugh and a half. All right. Coming in number three is one of my all time favorite spoof movies. It's a movie with Mike Myers. Yes. And it stars three people. Ooh. Actually, wait. Yeah, four people. And yep. that is Austin Powers. Austin Powers, yeah. That's, that's the first right. Austin yeah, Powers right. was one of the my favorite spoof movies. I killed myself laughing in like one part with the shadow part. The shadow. Shadow. You okay. remember the second one, the third one, the show is shadow. And like these guards are like looking at the shadow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was killing oh, yeah, myself yeah, yeah. laughing yeah. in that part. That was pretty good, yeah. Yeah, very oh. funny. Very funny part. Just, just let me fix my chair up one second. What are you doing? Uh, the film's ball, man. It's just like bouncing <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Peter. Okay, no All right, Peter. What's your number three? Okay, number three is... What have we got there? What have we got there? Banana... No, no, it's not allowed. Number three is... Uh, <laughs> Borak. Borak. Now, Borak, I don't know what the age group is to kind of watch this film, but it's funny. It's the parents funny. might not like it so much. you got to ask your mum and dad. Maybe, uh, you know, I don't know. Yeah. Get the grandparents to watch it with you. I probably know. won't see it because I know it has a yeah. bit of nudity in it. Maybe you've got a babysitter. Maybe the babysitter could watch it with you. <laughs> but it's a good film. It's a good film, <laughs> right? right? There, there are some parts. I would have a good babysitter. Some parts are pretty, pretty, movie. pretty gross and all that, but the highlight yeah, is again when he meets uh, Pamela Anderson and all that. Uh, it's alright, you know, it's a good film. Not bad. I heard it's good. Coming in number two is one of my favourite TV... It's on my top ten favourite movies the whole time. And that's going to be South Park, Bigger, Longer and Uncut. If, Peter, have you seen that movie? Which one? South Park? Uh, be, the movie. Nope, not yet. Okay, <laughs> yeah. The movie was really funny. It's mostly about the kids going to watch a movie that's very R and the kids swearing in class. Mm -hmm. It was mm -hmm. hilarious and the mums is just like, yeah, nah, we yeah, should yeah. we should make World War Three and destroy Canada right, making that right, movie. Right. And yeah, that was that was really enjoyable. I kill myself laughing, especially when Carmen got electrocuted. And it's like hilarious, you know. Now right, Peter, right, what okay. is your number two? Okay, I got another oldie kids. Another good reading oldies and your parents. He loves this. oldies. Well, that's right, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm only about 21 years it's old. So. It's his thing. It's his thing. Yeah, um, what am I called? The Nutty Professor? The original? Jerry not Lewis. Amy Murphy. Not Amy Jerry Murphy. Lewis. Jerry Lewis. It's a classic. I probably it's liked the Amy Murphy one. one. The Amy Murphy one. one was funny. Amy Murphy's good, but... But no, Jerry, Jerry Lewis, Lewis is the is funniest original. out of them all. It's a good film. You want to watch it? If you... Look, your kids, I don't know much about Jerry Lewis. Go to JB Hi-Fi. Have a look around. <laughs> go get, to JB Hi-Fi. It's a store with all movies. $10, $12. I don't know how much it is. Sorry, JB Hi-Fi. But they're worth watching. Jerry yes. Lewis is a king of comedy. So Marvel, go to JB anyway. Hi Fi, everyone. That's right. And it's That's a right. show where you That's sell right. movies and video games and all mm -hmm. that stuff. Alright, mm -hmm. now let's get to our final resort. Alright, number one, my favorite comedy of all time. It's a classic. It's with Chevy Chase, and you think you know what this is. Uh, yeah. It's National Lampoon's Vacation. Yes, National Lampoon's Vacation is my number one. It's one of my favorite comedies. Of all time, it's very hilarious. Yeah. I even I love the part when um Chevy Chase was in the car and then like this other girl, this bottle girl, like in like a Ferrari, just looking at him. It's yeah. like that's what I would do. Like if I'm single and like some Ferrari girl next to me, I'll just go like, yeah. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. It was pretty good. Was pretty, pretty good. good. Now pretty Peter, good, good. now okay. you're number one. Last but not least, um, The Hangover. Hangover, hangover was good. Number one was I good. Heard, I haven't seen The Hangover, but I heard... Number one I, I've only good. seen a bit of the third one. That's right. Look, I'll give, give you a slight hint. There's a part when 
this uh, group of guys, anyway, and, uh, one of the blokes got a beard sort of thing, and his father passed away, you know. Oh, yeah, that and was... And at the cemetery, I'm sorry if I'm spoiling it, but this is a good bit. That was actually number three. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Anyway, that's our top five favourite comedies of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that was the silliest oh, number oh one God. ever? <laughs> okay, uh, well, we'll stay tuned for next uh, next uh, show. I'll so, everyone, so what is your favourite comedy? Come below, let me know everything. And make sure to subscribe to my movies and everything. And have a nice day.